Judgment Day has been on the rocks since Damien Priest won the World Championship and Rhea Ripley was forced to relinquish hers due to injury. Priest has assumed control of the group, but the cracks are showing now more than ever. And Priest has demanded everyone meet in the clubhouse to talk about a fresh approach as he feels Judgment Day have been dropping the ball. But Finn interrupts him and says, Hold on Damien, what do you mean we've been dropping the ball? All we've done is try and back you up. And you're walking around like the leader of Judgment Day, but the Judgment Day has never had a leader and never will. And Dominic chimes in and says, Yeah, and I brought Carlito in. He helps us get a tag team championship match and there's no thank you or anything. And since Mommy left, things have- Shut up, Dom! If you ran things, we'd be answering to Liv Morgan. Don't think we didn't see you two leaving the same room. You want to talk about that? I thought so. If I don't take control here, things will only get worse. So either listen to me, or maybe Judgment Day just isn't working out. And don't you two have a tag team championship match to win? Get it done. Balor and JD are clearly harboring a lot of tension with Priest, but they will attempt to get things back by winning the tag team championships. And they work brilliantly as a team as you'd expect, until things start to go south. Because here comes Carlito again, trying to prove even more that he can help Judgment Day. But it backfires when he accidentally collects JD instead of The Miz. And Carlito then gets wiped out by a skull crushing finale. But also, in the ring, Bala is able to put Truth down. He goes to the top. But Miz, who is actually the legal man, has JD. And he throws him in the ring just as Truth rolls out. But without looking, Bala nails a coup de grace on his own teammate. JD is wiped out, and then so is Bala, when he's grabbed and drilled into the canvas by The Miz, and the Judgment Day loses again. And to say it causes even more trouble is an understatement, because the world champion storms out. Damien is fuming. He's tired of all the chaos that comes with this group, and he throws JD down to the ground, and this fires Finn up, who has vouched for him and mentored him, and he says, you ever think that maybe you're the problem, Damien? That title is going to your head. Jealousy doesn't look good on you, Finn. Just because you weren't good enough to take the title and I was, is not on me. It was on you, Damien, two times. It was you butting in that cost me. Maybe look at yourself before blaming us, like always. Priest, knowing Balor is right, leaves the situation. Judgment Day is cracking, and it's only about to get worse because the camera follows Damien as he walks off, and he comes across Dominic leaving a room backstage. Dominic sees him, and he wants to try and calm him down, and follows him out. Liv Morgan seems to be taking advantage of the absence of Rhea Ripley, which of course she caused. Not only in her pursuit of the World Championship, but in her corruption of Dominic. Because as we reach King and Queen of the Ring, and Becky Lynch's music plays, she's nowhere to be found. Which is a dire situation, because Becky agreed before the match that if she doesn't make it to the ring at any stage, for any reason, she will lose the championship. And Liv is trying to make the referee start the count. But where is Becky Lynch? Well, we find out. She's been locked out of the building and seen walking away from the talent entrance via security footage is Dominic Mysterio. Not only has he been bringing outsiders into the clubhouse, now he's helping the woman that took out Rhea Ripley. It's completely ridiculous. And the referee starts the count and the crowd is booing Liv out of the building. She's clearly trying to avoid a face-to-face -face fight like always. But then, through the crowd, in street clothes, is Becky Lynch. She hasn't even had time to get her gear on, but she slides in the ring just in the nick of time. But Liv is all over her. She gets the jump. Becky isn't ready whatsoever. And Liv takes advantage. She's all over her. And despite a solid Becky Lynch effort under the circumstances, it's the crowning performance on the Liv Morgan Revenge Tour. The reign of Becky Lynch is cut agonizingly short, and watching on is, of course, Dominic Mysterio. 
Liv vowed to take everything from Rhea, and it seems like she might have, including her right-hand man, Dominic Mysterio. Dominic, are you serious? What, Rhea goes away for five minutes and you're already helping the enemy? No, da Damien, please, trust me, save it! You are a huge part of why this group is failing. If we can even call it a group anymore. The priest is absolutely furious as he walks off. Dominic looks terrified of one half of the Terra Twins. Things go from bad to worse. Guess who's cleared, Damien? I'll see you at the Hydro in Scotland. Priest now has the Scottish warrior on his case, as well as a crumbling Judgment Day. JD and Finn seemingly splintering off on their own, Dominic being manipulated by Liv Morgan. They are screaming out for the calm head and influence of Rhea Ripley. But when will she be back? And will it be too late? because Damien Priest has called everyone to the ring to air their grievances, but it's halted by the presence of Carlito. And Damien hates this. Why the hell is he here, huh? Last time we saw him, he cost us the Tag Team Championships. Get him the hell out of my face before I do something I'll regret. This isn't a revolving door. This isn't an open invite. Carlito begins to walk off, but Damien suddenly has a change of heart and says, No, Carlito, my bad. I'm just a little heated. Come back and let's talk. Carlito very cautiously enters the ring and Damien says, It's all right, it's all right, come on. You're a big inspiration of mine. An example of how our people should conduct themselves. And well, I want to use you as an example, right now. Damien has snapped! He beats the hell out of Carlito! All while Judgment Day look on shocked! And Dominic, who brought him in, runs over to try and stop him, but it's no use! He drives him through the announce table, and Damien screams out and says, You see this? This is an example of why you need to listen to me! No outsiders! Damien storms off and he forces JD and Finn Balor to follow. Finn clearly isn't happy with this, but he does. But it also leaves Dominic, who once again didn't follow, vulnerable. Priest is in action on the cusp of Clash at the Castle, and he's facing Carlito, who desperately wants revenge. And it's a risk for Damien on the cusp of a huge match with Drew, and it's Drew that makes his presence felt. Sauntering out to get a closer look, and obviously this is going to be a huge distraction to Damien. But in a real show of solidarity, Bala and JD come out to stop Drew from getting involved. They try double teaming him, but Drew fights back big time. And this infuriates Damien. He doesn't want anyone getting involved. He doesn't want any more chaos. And he's yelling at them from the ring. But this opens the door for Carlito, who hits a backstabber. He pins the champion, but no, Priest is able to kick out. Carlito tries to follow up, but he gets caught, planted and pinned, and Priest escapes. But he cannot escape the Scottish warrior who has fought off his teammates, if you can even call them that. And once again, Priest is laid out and the pressure is building and something has to give. We arrive at the Hydro in Scotland. It's time for Drew's revenge, literally on his home turf. Judgment Day on the brink of destruction and it's all set up for the giant Scotsman. And the fight is out of control because it's no disqualification. And they tear the place apart. It's a hell of a fight. And Drew is on top. And he DDTs Damien onto the announce table. It's completely brutal. And he's standing tall when the crowd is cheering him on. And this 
would usually be where Judgment Day would step in, but JD and Finn are watching from a distance. And once again, Dominic is absent. But Damien has been adamant that they don't get involved and they're actually listening. But the thing is, they don't even have to get involved. He promised Drew that he'd punch him in the face even if he had to travel to Scotland to do it. And he of course gets booed by the hometown crowd, but he doesn't care. He and Drew are embroiled in a wild brawl and it winds up in the ring. The crowd is going crazy, but they pop even bigger. But Drew, when he gets on top, he lays him out with a future shock. But that pop then turns to panic because Drew doesn't see it coming and he receives a chair shot and the fatal South of Heaven onto the same chair and Damien Priest retains. It's a huge hurdle to overcome. And while the Scottish crowd doesn't like it, the rest of the world would probably love it. But who else loves it? Is JD and Finn, who now come out once again, suspiciously without Dominic, to celebrate with Damien. But they don't get the best reception. Damien demands that they stand at ringside and not ruin his moment. And while JD adheres, Finn does not. He's fed up and he gets right in Damien's face and it feels like it's going to explode. Ripley is back! The place erupts! She storms down to the ring and it straightens out the rest of Judgment Day immediately! And Rhea gets in the ring and starts berating them! This isn't us! This is a family! There is no Judgment Day without all of us! If we even lose one, this whole thing is over! So we stick together and we work this out! Okay? Good. Rhea leaves the ring and leaves Judgment Day considering their actions. But it's of course not the whole group. And it leaves Dominic, who is excited to be reunited with Mommy. So let's get this straight. The Judgment Day is fine. I had to show my Dom Dom some tough love, but that's what family does. And we have plans to make Judgment Day stronger than ever. And I'm gonna start with you, Liv Morgan. You wanted to take everything from me, and to your credit, you got close. But guess what? Mommy's home, so you and that title are mine. Starting with me winning Money in the Bank and then cashing in, taking my championship back that I never lost. But not only that, Finn is going to win Money in the Bank as well. He's going to cash in on Cody. JD and Dom are going to win back our Tag Team Championships and the Judgment Day will rise and be back where we belong. Rhea lays down the law, but you can still feel the unease amongst the group. Dominic is hanging on by a thread. JD and Finn are keeping a close eye on Damien. And he's on guard as he sees Finn successfully qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match later that night. With Rhea picking up a dominant win in her return match to qualify as well. She's brought back the dominance. She's brought the group back together. But she has to worry now about Liv Morgan because she gets blasted with the world championship she's trying to get back. Liv is all over her and she's looking to re-injure the shoulder. The problem is Rhea has sent everyone home to cool off before her match. But thankfully for her, someone didn't listen like always. And it's Dominic and he runs out. He stops and Liv looks like she knows something. She looks like she knows that Dom won't save Rhea, 
and she very smugly just turns her back and goes and gets a chair. It seems like Dom has been fully manipulated by Liv. He does nothing and she's gonna take her out. Becky Lynch, the most unlikely of heroes. She takes out Liv Morgan and saves Rhea Ripley. Becky has also qualified for Money in the Bank. And as we head to Toronto, we have so many more questions to answer, starting with the men's Money in the Bank match. And there's bodies everywhere, careers being put on the line. It's high risk, it's high stakes, but it's high rewards. And it's come down to two. It's Finn Balor and CM Punk. And they're juking it out on the top of the ladder. And it's Punk that gets on top. He lands the perfect strike on Finn that stuns him. And Punk has his chance until he's wrenched down off the ladder by Drew McIntyre, the man who hates him more than anyone in the world. And he's not even in the match. But now he and Punk are going at it. And it opens the door for Finn Balor to pull down the briefcase. And he wins his first ever Money in the Bank. The first part of Rhea's plan is in place, but it's now up to her to complete the next. And it's the same kind of carnage. Bodies everywhere, and the stakes couldn't be higher. But this time, there's no interference, there's no help. It's just Rhea Ripley and her power. She demolishes the field, tearing the match apart like only she can. She finishes off the last woman, and it's Becky Lynch. And then she scales the ladder and pulls down the briefcase. Two Money in the Bank winners now reside in the Judgment Day. Mommy has come home, and Judgment Day is back on top. Listen, this is a new era for Judgment Day. The era where we call our shots. The era where we get back what's ours. No more games. No more waiting around until the last second. We tell the world up front. Besides, everyone knows who I'm picking. And everyone knows who you're picking. So what I think we should do tonight is we announce it together. And we make SummerSlam a true Judgment Day for the entire roster. And amazingly, Finn agrees and says, That's great. We both have our picks, and I like the idea of not sneaking around. We hit them in the face, and we take what's rightfully ours. But Rhea, what about Dom? Can you trust him? As you said, if we lose one, the whole Judgment Day is done. And Rhea says, I don't know. That's up to him. We've been through everything together. So I trust him. Just like I trust you. So let's go do this. It's time for Judgment Day to arrive for the WWE. It's time for Finn and I to restore order and get Judgment Day back on top. So let's cut to the chase. No sneak attacks, no typical Liv Morgan type behavior. We're tackling this head on. So speaking of Liv, I'm cashing in on you for a match at SummerSlam. A predictable pick from Rhea, but now it's Finn's choice. A seemingly obvious one if they want full control of WWE, Cody Rhodes has been invited to Raw as a special guest of Adam Pearce in anticipation as he watches on from the back. Finn says, One day. One day is how long I held my last world championship. And eight years. Eight years I've struggled to get the top prize back around my waist. And now, I hold the contract that gives me another chance. And I could take the coward's way out. I could attack someone at their most vulnerable, but that ain't me. But what I do want is the biggest challenge of my career. Not only physically, but mentally. Which is why Cody Rhodes, it's not you. Bala blows Judgment Day apart from the inside. 
He and JD, the men he mentored and brought into the group, both take it to Damien Priest. Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio are left in the ring and Rhea asks Dom if he knew anything about it. But he's a deer in the headlights. He can't even answer her because she gets blindsided by Liv Morgan. She's all over Rhea now. Judgment Day has exploded. Balor and JD have splintered off and Damien's championship is in trouble. Dominic Mysterio has been corrupted, putting Rhea's chances of regaining her championship in jeopardy. There are so many questions to be answered and they will be in Cleveland at SummerSlam. SummerSlam has not been kind to Finn Balor, but he isn't here for niceties. He's here to get the job done. But in his way is a man who he's shared the ring with more than anyone over the last couple of years, but not on opposing sides. They couldn't know each other any better, which makes this even more emotional. Balor said he wanted a challenge mentally. Well, he certainly got that, but it's the physical challenge that rears its head. The priest has Balor right where he wants him. He picks him up for a razor's edge. But as he does, JD arrives. And instead of his mentor being there for him, he's there for Finn. And he grabs the ankle and he pulls Balor loose. Priest has been brought undone by a tactic he fought hard for the group not to do. Balor lands the shotgun drop kick, fights his way to the top rope and delivers the fatal Coup de Gras. And eight years, almost to the day, Finn Balor captures a world title. But this is only the first half of the war. Rhea Ripley has seen her family torn apart and it all stemmed from her shoulder being torn apart by Liv Morgan. So to say that this is personal is an understatement. All made even more combustible by the fact that it's no disqualification and both women absolutely do not hold back. And Liv takes huge risk after huge risk to try and put Rhea away. But she somehow stays alive. She's desperate to stop Liv Morgan and her revenge tour in its tracks. But is her fate even in her hands? The match comes to a halt and Liv Morgan starts laughing at her down Rhea Ripley. And she says, I told you, I take everything from you Rhea. I took your title, I took your arm, I even took Dominic. The crowd boos Liv out of the building. They hate that she has manipulated Dominic and split them up. Dom doesn't seem to care. And he just says, here, mommy, catch this. It was all a setup. Dominic and Rhea played Liv all along. Rhea grabs Liv and drives her down onto the chair with a riptide. She makes the cover and she wins back her championship. Dominic and Rhea are back together again. He hands her the championship and the crowd erupts. Judgment Day might be done, but Mommy is always on top.